Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Duke Cakes Varium. Right here, right now. Now, I did a time lapse video, and you will find that as a bonus video uh, on last week's upload. So, there's actually two videos from last week. One of which is the normal Let's Play, and one of which is a time lapse of me pretty much removing a bunch of ground and placing a bunch of ground and just doing a lot of architectural stuff. So I now have the full perimeter placed and all of these blocks had been sitting on ground so you can see that you know I did remove a lot of stuff. Oh boy I forgot about this. Yeah there's some holes and stuff this all has to be dug out and replaced with wood. And then all of this stone over here I have to mine out yet. Um, I actually would have mined it out, but I used up almost all of my steel. I started with, I think, 44 steel ingots, and I'm down to two. So I went through a lot of pickaxes, a lot of shovels. Could have sworn there was just a little purple thing right there, but maybe I'm seeing things. And for some weird reason, and I don't know what, these leaves are not despawning. Or decaying I guess and yes there is a tree here that I have no idea how I'm gonna remove welcome to my life so I think I need well I need two things hey I really need to figure out a better way of getting to my office space here because right now this is just complete garbage and B I need to go into the caves and do some mining so, I'm going to drop off stuff that I don't need to take along with me. Lots full of dirt. You can see just how much material I harvested. All this dirt, all the sand. All the cobble I am going to end up using. So that all turn into stone tiles. And I will need those. Steel chest, but where did I get that from? I'll need all of the... all of the uh, stone tile to build the to build the perimeter walls and all that good stuff let's chuck that in here I don't need to carry those with me I don't even know what's in my backpack quite honestly I don't know why I have a stone axe and a metal axe but whatever I'll keep the charcoal lump I don't need the protection blocks on me I don't need these bones um, I want to see just what's in this leather backpack before I go mining real quick. Okay, I don't need to carry that, that, this, 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 this. Um, diamonds. I didn't realize I had so many diamonds. I was doing some reading the other day. And by reading, I mean reading information on the server. I have a whole bunch of iron. I don't even need to go in the mines. I just need to cook this stuff up. Sweet! Um, and I was reading through some of the books over in the spawn village library thing that you can turn rotten meat into good meat with slime. Which seemed a little weird to me. But who am I to complain about the game mechanics that have been set in place by our benevolent overlord? Hopefully that's not super offensive to anybody. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna... I think I have some slimes. I think this is what you used. That and rotten flesh. Um, okay, maybe that's not the right kind of slime then. Oh, you know what? We, duh. Let's just look right here. Okay, I could have sworn it said you could use rotten meat. Hmm. I think somebody was lying to me. Sweet sauce. Well, I guess we don't have to go mining. I just need to get out of here. I so need to make a better method of doing this. This is so uncool. Hey. 
like a little snail or a beetle or something. Am I supposed to tame those two? Man, I ain't got time for that. I probably should have actually used my diamond for this. But you know what? I do have a stone pickaxe, so I guess I'll wreck this first. And yeah, the reason I did this as a time lapse, because this is super boring. Like, who wants to watch me do this for two hours straight? And that's about what the time lapse took to record. I would say it was probably about two hours worth of mining. And yeah, super, super boring. But as I said in the video, which you may or may not have watched, probably didn't because like three minutes in, I said, why are you still even watching this? This is just a totally waste of your time. Um, there are those people, and if you are one of them, I've got totally nothing against you. But I've had people complain when I did stuff off camera, like, hey, I wanted to see that. I'm like, sorry, I didn't think people would want to. So yeah, that's why I did that. And I don't even know why I'm doing that right now. I should be working on this entryway. Okay, entryway. It should come straight off of here. Right to there. That's that block. This block should run in line with that. Yes, it does. Okay, so this space here comes the entrance. What is... Whoa. Dude, bro. Hey, that's uncool, man. Though I must say, that is a really good model. Hey, 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 cut it out. Cut it out. I'm trying to record a video here. Hey, hey, chill it. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I could lead him over to uh, this tree monster. And if the tree monster would fight for me. That'd be pretty cool. See a giant skeleton? Ah, yes! Giant skeleton and a tree monster duking it out. Oh, no! Nice work, tree monster! I'd, uh, I'd feed you something, but I don't have anything you would eat, so sorry, bro. Nice. Okay. That is just one of the many little advantages to spawning friendlies. Oh, and speaking of that, I was, I was doing some reading when I was in the little spawn village, as I mentioned before. Uh, and I've been using this mob tamer wrong all along. So it turns out, you take the mob tamer and you put an egg next to it of whatever you want to spawn. And then I think you use the mob tamer and right click and it will spawn that egg as a tame slash friendly mob. So you can pretty much take any mob that there is and turn them into an ally. Powerful or not, depending obviously on whether or not they are powerful mobs. But yeah, then they'll fight for you and defend you which is pretty cool and here I thought you used that and you could just tame any mob and then catch them yep and that my friends is why it sometimes pays to read the manual and I know it's not really exactly a manual per se but it's a book in the library that tells you what to do so I think it qualifies as a manual all right, this is perfect. So we have a travel net right here. And that leads right to my vivarium. Now, I think I need to put a road in. That, uh, it's one note off. It's almost perfect. I am curious though, what's in here? This could be a good cave. Well, it 
it's pretty large. Um, unfortunately, ooh, there's some iron. It's mostly tin. And as you all know, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, I don't care for tin. Tin in my books is useless. But the coal and the iron, I will gladly take. Oh, hey. I seen this before and I didn't explore it because I was in the middle of... Uh, I forget what I was doing. I was in the middle of something else, though. This looks like this may have already been explored by someone. Copper. I'll take that. I can use it for bronze. I think, actually, bronze uses copper and tin. So maybe tin isn't quite as useless as I may have led you on to believe. Ooh, does this go somewhere? Indeed, yes, it does. Uh, nope, never mind, it doesn't. Alright, I will avail myself to that iron. Um, shift jump should get me out of there. Oh, yeah. Love these boots. You want to jump super high, get yourself some crystal boots. Now, unfortunately, crystal boots are not cheap. They are, like, actually really expensive. So, good luck in getting the materials needed. Hmm. Well, there will be a lot of landscaping I will have to put in to this entryway. But I think I can start with just making the the arch. Now these walls all go up three high. And then protection blocks can't stay there. I can put it right in the inside though, that's fine. Temporarily. They'll be moved out eventually. Uh, do I have iron on me to make doors? I do. I need a lot of doors though. I don't have enough. Well, I'll make what I can. Hey, that didn't work. What? No. Don't hinge on that side. Hey, why can't I dig my door? What? 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 What kind of tool am I supposed to use to take a steel door down? It's always been a pickaxe. Uh, I think we have a problem here. No, that doesn't... Wait. Is it lagging that much? Okay, something's weird with that. It's never lagged that bad on this server. No, I don't have a floor in here yet. I need to get on this and get this floor made. Okay, I want to grab some dirt. Grab one stack of dirt. I need... Do I have any of that wood? Ah, uh, three pieces. And a stack. I want another stack. Good. Good, good, good. Let me just take all of those. And... Be on my merry way. I want to get this floor in here. Because it bugs me that I fall in the water every time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes. It's not complete, but it's good enough. Let's fill 
this up. Something in there. Uh, let's get rid of these holes. I just don't want somebody coming to visit the vivarium and then falling to a most untimely of demise because of negligence on the part of the construction company that built this. There we go. Ooh, a crocodile. Or alligator, whatever it is, I don't even know. I should catch one though, throw it in my aquatic viewing area. Right, let's try this again. Nothing. Why won't that go away? I'm so confused. Ooh, he's actually kind of getting close. Oh well. Now, I stupidly put all this dirt in here. Um, yeah, pretty much because I'm stupid. Because, obviously, this is all supposed to be a wooden floor here. I did this during my time lapse. I was like, oh, yeah, I need to put some dirt in so I have ground. And then I realized, oh, wait. None of that dirt's going to stay there. Because that all becomes the wooden walkway. So now I am paying for my stupidity and digging all the dirt out. Well, so is life. On the upside, though, oh, where's my shovel? I need a shovel. This is taking too long. Put a shovel there. We'll throw this right there. And we will roll in style. La, 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 la. I've got to decide, and I don't know yet. What do I want to make my entryway look like? A big majestic arch? Probably not. Ooh, I wonder. If I'm doing a full thing going around, is there even a point to putting a wall on this? Probably not. Yeah, no, not really. I'll remove that wall later. For right now, it's not hurting anything. And I don't have enough of the rest of this built. This outside path is only going to be accessible by administration. And by that, I pretty much mean me. Because it's going to be locked off with these steel doors up at the entrance here. And any other entrance slash exit will be composed of the steel door variety. So I'll be the only one that can get into here. Then all the animal cages, I'll just use wooden doors. Though I... I guess somebody could jump into an animal cage and then open a wooden door and then get into the inside. Something is wrong with these doors. Why can't I dig this? This is just bugging me. I should be able to remove that. No, don't hinge on the center. This makes no sense. What did you do to these doors? I don't get it. Why can't I get rid of the store? Clearly the steel pickaxe didn't do anything because it's not showing any damage. This makes no sense at all. Ooh. I need this. I need this quite, quite much. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on with those doors. I guess I'm just going to have to leave them that way for the right, right now time being. Which isn't really a huge deal. What is a huge deal, though? What do we put here? 
I'm almost thinking I could do a stairway going up like I have over here and have two entryways to the upper level I feel like that would probably be smart to do but that leaves so little space for the entrance only two nodes wide which admittedly would be enough for two doors or I could make the stairway only one wide but I feel like that would be too narrow of a stair or I could do a two wide on one side and then the other side all open but that messes with the symmetry and I like things to be symmetrical hmm well for starters throw some torches on this light this place up it's completely lit and no I actually have no idea what that even is supposed to mean other than it's slang that I guess all the cool kids are using these days evidently however I am okay I am stuck oh wait no I'm not Evidently, I'm not cool enough, though, to know what that means. Or I just don't care enough. Which is more likely the case. Okay. And. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so. That I'll just close off with stone. As I will that. I'm going to close that door. It just looks better being closed. Okay, now that. Yeah, that's the same height. Okay, so I can do stone going across the top. Because that's what the top will be composed of. And I'll have that going on here as well. And for some reason, I didn't put a block on. Oh, I yeah, I didn't. Because I didn't jump up there. All right. And then this can have a block going across. Actually, this front one shouldn't if I'm putting a stairway in. <sighs> Should have hired an architect. He would have drawn me up some blueprints. Would have saved myself this trouble. Okay. So that's that. And then this is this. And then we throw glass windows in here. There should be six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So that is correctly sized. And then this here actually. Good. Right? I need to double check. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, because the path appears too wide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes across, and then I can do a stairway. Or something. <clears throat> Some method of which one can gain admittance to the upper level. Which, I don't know. If I do the stairway, it does leave the doors completely open, which is which is good. If that is what I want. What kind of materials do I have to work with here? Oh. I've got some different roof things. A mill. A dirt road. my default stuff um nothing too special looking there whoa I know I had all these other foods I don't think I've even looked through the inventory once yet um I didn't know he had home decor on here but clearly I have not looked at this inventory all this furniture Cool beans. 
Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Bunch of different woods. Nyan stuff. That's cool. Protected wooden doors. Protected steel doors. Oh, it's a TV. Oh, come. Is this baked clay? It is. Staffs. Not craftable. Cheap tendayer. Something is coming up on me. Or not. Oh, maybe it's that wolf way over there. Probably is. Okay, well, no worries then. This is what I actually wanted to look at. Iron bars. 16. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, actually, don't I have walls? Cobblestone wall. Let me just take six of these. I haven't used these too much. It'd be cool if it connected to that, but you know what? That's all right. I just don't want people to accidentally fall in, you know? And if I put a little cobblestone wall up, at least then I did my part. And is this enough? You can come in. Uh, yes, it is. So, I'll grab these as well. And the... Whoa! I didn't want to throw them. I want to walk forwards. There we go. Ah, much better. I'll... Uh, do I have a... Is dirt available in a slab? Probably not. Baked clay is, though. Cobblestone is, but dirt's not. Okay, how do you make baked clay anyways? You have to have clay? Uh. And how do you... Okay, here we go. Clay block, and you bake it. Well, that makes sense. Clay block takes four clay lumps. Clay is generally found underwater... Um, yeah, so that, that could kind of be iffy-ish to find. But I think for right now, that'll suffice. Anybody coming in? That's just so plain, though. 
Like I need to do some kind of like a curved arch. Ooh, I could do that. So I'll be putting windows in and stuff. I can do like an archway. Oh no. I can do like an archway over it. Kinda. It might be something to play around with. Um, that's not finished because I didn't have enough tile. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and move some more of this dirt. Wow, there's a big hole underneath. Alright, what am I saying dirt? Some of the stone. And throw dirt in here. And beautiful thing about this is that I need all of this stone to make the tiles to build the walls. So I pretty much would have to be harvesting this from someplace anyway. So it really doesn't bother me that I have to dig all of this out too much. And what does bother me is these dumb trees that I can't get rid of because I can't reach them. The tree off to the right, which is a palm tree, that I th think possibly when I put the walls in, actually I don't even think it's to the right anymore. Um, yeah, I guess it is. This one over here, no. So I'm going to have a wall here, ooh, but I will have two cages. That might be some place that I can reach from a wall from a cage. And then get rid of those leaves. But this here, I don't know. I tried burning it. Didn't work. Uh, I tried climbing up into the top of it, which worked fine. And just chopping the whole tree down. No luck there. I, I got tons of wood from it. And I uh, got tons and tons of leaves. But it seems like there's always one piece of wood that you miss in there someplace. And that one piece of wood really ends up keeping a gigantic mess of leaves from decaying. And then, of course, you can't find that piece of wood because it's surrounded by leaves. And pretty much your only option is to go through and systematically remove every single leaf manually which I don't have that kind of time that would take literally forever okay it wouldn't literally take forever but it would take a long time and yeah it would not be a fun process okay well I think there's two things I need to do. And you know what? I'm just going to do this. It's I'm just going to chop a hole in the roof. I uh, there's it just takes too much time, too much effort to get in and out from here and then I will I'll make a steel trap door. Which, honestly, I don't even know what the point of doing that was, because anybody can get in here as it is already. Well, I didn't want that. I wonder if I can get to... Oh, boy. Okay, there is a problem with these doors. I don't know what it is, but I can't mine them. Do cake, what did you break? You have to send him a mean email. Be like, hey, you can't remove steel doors. They open and close, though. Okay, I need one ladder. Well, I need several ladders. Four will be enough. Ba -ba -bum. Yeah, see, that should have been on the top side. Oh, well, it's all right. Um, I need an access way to the garden as well. That'll come in due time in another episode. Why can't I fall in this hole? There we go. 
All right, well, that's going to wrap this one up. Let me just... Um, I don't even know if that stuff's cooked. Is this cooked? I guess it is. And I believe this heals hearts, not health. Most of the foods from the not so simple mobs just heal your health directly. Which can be good if your health is low. However, if you have. Um, if your health isn't low, then it kind of just gets wasted because it doesn't fill your hunger up. So many bones. I really need to look into what bones are used for. I think it's just bone meal. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my mailbox back out. Because... Oh, do I have a piece of fencing? Nope. Do I have a piece in here? I might. I just might. You know what? Whatever. I'll use a chunk of brass. I'm not going to use it for anything else, so I may as well use it. Oh, hey, there's a horse. Just chilling. Cool. Oh, actually, you know, I don't even need a rail. I got a fence to put it right on. I'll just pop it right there. Ta-da! People can give me gifts now. And you know what? Go ahead and throw some torches on there just for kicks and giggles. And I guess I'll put two in the center. There we go. Plenty of light. And I'll put torches on the ends of this as well. There we go. All right. That is going to wrap this episode up. I will catch you guys next time. And maybe we'll do something with this, but no promises. See ya.